Hey everyone, this little video is going to be about my December beauty favourites. Now, I've picked up quite a few bits and pieces for the last two months now to showcase in a video because Christmas is all Christmassy and sparkle and I thought I'll show you some products that I've picked for you. Starting with face. This here is ideal when it's cold outside or if your skin face is chapped and it's Dr. Feel Good and it's the Benefit Balm. I'll show you the lid. It's really, really nice. And it comes with a little sponge. And it smells kind of medicinal, lemony. And it really is smooth. And you put that on before your foundation. And it just gives like a, a powder effect. But it's not oily. And it does make your makeup fly on. And I know in the winter, my skin gets terribly chapped and horrible. So I've put that in my list for Christmas must-haves. Next up eyeshadows i've got only got three here actually i'll go on my primer first here by urban decay and this is the sinful it's the eyeshadow primer portion and this is called sin and it's almost like a kind of it's gold goldy bronze it's just like the urban decay normal primer portion but you get like a, a bit of a goldy glaze going on that under the eyeshadows looks lush and I've been saving this up for a must have type of video. I use it quite a lot but I do like it and I think it's perfect for the party season. Still got that Dr. Feel Good balm on my hand. Now for the eyeshadows I've got three different brands starting with MAC. You cannot go wrong with a bit of MAC gold pigment or any kind of eyeshadow that this is colour of. It's really nice. Using out the cap. And I'll just put it on my hand and show you. It's so pigmented. This one's a metallic finish. But it's perfect for Christmas eyes, Christmas party, New Year even. So these will kind of tie you over the winter months. Next up, I've got a bit of bourgeois. And this is the Shimmer and Shine Liquid Eyeshadow. This one's number 35 grey platinum and it is metallic finish again take the top off and it has a little applicator and I'm going to just gently pull that out it's a tiny little sponge applicator it is so soft and the you will be so look at that it's pure liquid eyeshadow and it is really really nice now I do love this stuff here I've been dying to show you it but I had to keep it off my videos, otherwise you'd have already seen half of the stuff, you see. So that there is the Metallic Shimmer Bourgeois. I'm going to put all the details in the description box, all the products. Next up, I've got some Barry M Dazzle Dust. This one here is just 102. I've got to be careful, I don't spill any. This reminds me of mulled wine and it's laced with sparkle, like a gold, I don't know if you can see that there, I'm trying to pick up, you see the fluff sticking to my hands, but it's laced with gold, sparkle, a bit of pink, but the majority of the eyeshadow is like a red wine colour, I'm going to just put that on my hand there, you see, it comes out dark, but it does have a bit of glitter to it, I do like it, any kind of smouldering party eye look and you want a tiny touch of gold but not too much I reckon that's perfect for you just get that off my hand now for your nails I've got these here these are the ones I've picked that I think are truly Christmassy I've also got to do a video on all the China Glaze nail varnishes I have because I had a couple of collections and I haven't shown you yet because I get sidetracked with other stuff to do Look at the sparkle in that. That's China Glaze Ring in the Red. And it is beautiful. It's what I was wearing in the last video, so I'm sure it was. And then I've got Nail Teeny Caviar Cocktail. Don't even know where you can get this from, but I'm going to have a look online for you. And it's a metallic silver, and I'm wearing it now. And it is really, really, really nice. You only need one coat and you're there. 
and I've never come across a nail varnish where you only need one coat. It's always two to get what's in the bottle. So they're my Christmas nails. On the lip products, I've got tons here, but I'm only going to show a few because I don't need to show this many. But these here, this one here is Max Cranapple. Perfect bright red lip liner, ready for Christmas. Great pigment as well. Cannot fault it. Totally Christmassy. Could even wear that on its own, nice and dry. There you go. That's that. Reaching right over. Because if I zoom in on the camera, the light changes and it goes wrong. This here. Now I got this at IMAX when I went there in London last time. It's a makeup pearlescent lip colour, and this one's Clary. And look at that. It's a little pot of lip colour. It's really, really nice. It's mummy finger for you. Look at that. It is rich. It's again like a plummy red. It's beautiful. Gold in it. So you could totally wear that with either light eyes or like a black smoky dark eye. Because it's not too overpowering. Especially if you're blending. But I like, I like that. That's that. I have to show this and I've just used it. I've just got it on. I've just done a Selena Gomez look. And it's MAC. Look at the shimmer, it's laced with shimmer. And it is amorous, total Christmas colour. Put it in the middle. It's highly glossy as well. That's the middle one, look at it, it's just so pretty. For eyeliners, got four to choose from. Now I've been around deliberately putting eyeliners away in a box for Christmas. This is the one I've got. Baked by Urban Decay and it's like a goldy bronze colour and it's ideal for underneath. Put it on the end of the hand there like that and you're going to like it. And that's it there. It's really shimmery, metallic, creamy finish. They're not harsh. I like Urban Decay liners. Next one is Dime. A great Christmas colour. Christmas New Year even. See that silver? It's a lovely colour. That's what I've picked on that once. Yeah, that gets it better, I think. Next up. Now, I've got these two because I don't know which one is available or not. I don't know if it's been limited edition, discontinued. I've got Minted and Jealousy by MAC. Now, Jealousy is a dark bottle green with shimmer. Perfect Christmas colour. And I'm just going to put it right alongside them. So yeah, it's a lovely bottle green with a bit of shimmer. Oh my camera's picking it up for you. But I really like that one. So that was Jealousy and it's just a normal coal pencil from MAC. This one here is minted. It's like a minty green. And it was just in case you couldn't get Jealousy anymore. And that's again by MAC and it's all Christmassy colours. So I really like them. I've got a blush here and it is the only blush I'm showing. I can't think of anything else I want to put in this video. This one is expensive though so I wouldn't advise you to go and get it but I did manage to get one and I love it and it's Chanel. This blush here is Rose Temptation and it has got a little bit of gold, not a lot so you wouldn't feel overkill but it's like a Dolly Rose pink cheek with gold. And that's it there. And I'm just holding the brush so it doesn't fall out. But it is beautiful. Well pigmented. And that's it there. Just a touch of gold. There's not much in there. Smells nice. Very expensive. But it's Christmas. And so I thought I'd pop it in here. And that's the only blush that I really thought was worthy colour wise because I'm finding it really hard to find a good Christmassy blush so that's the colour I had for lashes two sets of lashes these ones here crazy party D beauty really nice gold party lashes and then on a more normal note I've got Ardell elegant eyes and if you can see the glitter on the rim of them I've used these before and they are stunning they are 
perfect for party season. Got a mascara here. This is Lancome. And this one is Hypnose. Not sure what it's called. It's number. No, well, there's no numbers. But look at that. The sparkle on it. Beautiful. Very, very nice. And you can see the edge there, it's a bit sparkly. But this here, I'm going to put it on my hand for you. That's it there, look, on the bottom. I've just squidged off the brush onto my hand. Trying to get you to see the shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. Oh, come on, shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. There we are, look at that. See all the different colours? Very Christmassy, and I love that mascara. I always put a normal black mascara on first and then go over once the black's dried with that and you get a lovely little sparkle and it sticks to it nice. Next up, Hard Candy. Here, Glitz Stick. Now I really like this one. It's 106, sweet as pie. And you just draw it on your, lap, your eyes. Look, lovely. See, it's like a crayon. Wax crayon laced with glitter, silver one, and that's it there. See, so you could totally put that on your eye on its own and just sparkle away the whole night. And it's not overkill, you get little gaps, so that's quite good. I think that's it. No, 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 perfume anything woody, musky warm cinnamon spicy and vanilla and i love this one here and it's another expensive one by the way it's joe malone i really really like it it just sends it into like a christmas i don't know it's just lovely but i would totally recommend that if you're looking for a really nice perfume joe malone rose water and vanilla it's cologne and it's intense and i'm not joking it is lovely but i think it's expensive but with it being christmas you may be able to treat yourself i don't know or quickly put in a request with the boyfriend I put a request in it was a joke one um, it was for Clive Clive Christian Clive Christian number one go google it I put that request in all serious faced and he says okay no problem took the piece of paper away from him and then later on at the night time he handed it back and went I think the people on eBay are taking the mic then prices can't be right surely and I just kept a straight face and I says, but I really want some. And um, it got chucked back at us. Sorry, can't get you that. But it was funny. Wait till you see the price, you will, you will be cracked up. Anyway, next up, and this is the last one I've got. Bumble and Bumble Hair Shine. And again, lovely gold packaging. And it does make your hair shiny. But what I would suggest is, spray it on your hairbrush first. Never direct on your hair because then you'll get like a greasy spot. So spray it on your brush and then brush it through and you get like a nice overall glossy effect rather than a big thick amount because the first time I used it before I put it on my brush it just landed and I thought that's never going to come out it was like it just looked dirty and it wasn't it was shiny but anyhow I really hope you've enjoyed my December Beauty Haul favourites collection whatever you want to call it and a bit of a yabba 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 because I don't get to do them so much. This video is probably going to be long, but never mind. Anyway, I shall see you all in a bit because I have got some more coming up for you. And I really hope you enjoy them. Zoom, zoom.